I'm home. But there's no one actually home. I just, uh, I did it for the, uh, for the video, for the clip. Hello, welcome back to the Roach Show. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so it's been a very long day. Uh, I just, oof, Jesus Christ, I forgot how large this camera was. Just come back from college. Bobby, you all right? Bob, you all right? Why do they even come in this room? I'm going back into the other room. What am I doing? Sorry about this. Oop. Come on. Welcome back to the Roach Show, and I'm really, really uh, tired. I just come back from college, and uh, it's been a very long day. But today, I thought, um, do you know what? I'm gonna record. I'm just gonna pick up the camera, and uh, I think I'm gonna show you through my camera bag. Well, my camera equipment. Thought it'd be a good opportunity to show off some stuff I'm using in the videos because some people have been asking me questions about what I use. I know this is really awkward because I kind of can't really stand over here and talk. That looks really, that looks really awkward. I'm gonna have to hover like I'm taking a shit. Oh, my hair looks awful. What is going on? Today's not a, uh, a very good day. Uh, if you're looking to get into uh, filming and directing and all that stuff, you can have a look and uh, maybe see some stuff I have. And because uh, it's quite, quite a good price, some of the stuff I have, uh, I'm obviously not rolling in the monies, so I have to keep it quite cheap when it comes to gear. Gear? When it comes to, uh... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I'm good. I'm good. Right, I'm super thirsty. I'm gonna make myself a tea. Right. So happy I got this tea. Oh, that's so hot. God, that oh Jesus Christ. Pretty pretty average today to be honest. Nothing much really happened today. Oh, I got this. Uh, uh this. This is awesome. So if you watched the uh so if you've been watching the vlogs, uh, you probably know that I went to York and I actually got in. I'm very happy about that. But yeah, I got this in the post today, little golden ticket. It sparkles as well. Doesn't really show on camera. It's awesome, little gold ticket. It's like I'm in Harry Potter. Harry Potter? Not Harry Potter. It's like I'm in Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I'm a mess, I'm an actual mess. Pretty awesome, very happy about that. But yeah, college, uh, nothing much happened. I did a test shoot for a little short advertisement thing I'm doing. It's one of the modules for my VTech. It went really well actually. It gave me an opportunity to work with like um, the smoke machines and like lights and stuff. We use it in the studio. Very happy about that. It's crazy how you can change your place with like lights and practical effects and stuff. So definitely be utilizing that in future films. But yeah, for the rest of the day, I'm recording, editing, and uh, also script writing. I have some exciting stuff on the way, so uh, <laughs> stay tuned. Also, another bit of self-promotion, um, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My tag is there, kind of pops up sometimes here. Um, so yeah, make sure you go follow me, I appreciate that. Also, I'm, I bought some sticker paper the other day and I need to make some stickers. I was about making some Max Roach stickers, not for sale and stuff. I know you want the Max Roach merch to come out soon. <laughs> Said no one, but these are for myself, strangely enough. These are for, um, I thought it'd be a good idea to put all on my camera gear and bags and everything. Uh, it just helps, I love stickers as well. Right, I think that's about time. Not my best, not my best. That, uh, we look for my camera back. Floor video, floor video. It's a normal video, but it's on the floor. It's looking a bit dark down here, hang on, let me get some lights. There we go, it's a bit better, it's a bit harsh, but what are you gonna do about it? What am I gonna do about this? This is a nightmare. Move, move, you move. Right, that's gonna have to do. But that works, I, I think that's a pretty, pretty nice little floor setup. Right, probably the best thing to do first is get my bag. So I did do a video a bit like this uh, ages ago. And when I say ages ago, I mean like last year, where I went through best stuff to start YouTube, um, this is not level, but this is um, this is a very updated list. Uh, I have got some more stuff uh, the same. So this is my camera bag. This is the low pro so-and-so bag. Uh, that's not the real name, I just forgot it. I will try and put down the links in the description. Uh, fingers crossed I actually remember. Some of the stuff I can find on, on Amazon, but uh, the stuff I can find, like this bag, 
it will be in the description because it's a very good bag. I highly rate it. It's basically perfect for me because it has a lot of slots, but not too many. So it's not too big on the back. Fixed around the side. So... Uh, nothing ever really gets squashed or when there's like loose space and loose stuff in there it doesn't squash down so it's like always going to be this size clips on the side to make sure it holds everything in also has enough space for a 13 inch laptop what's absolutely incredible for me because that also means it can hold notepads and stuff so if i'm going to school i can just take this in as my school bag and uh, also take all my camera gear so it has two pockets on the actual camera bag so they have one little Little one little one here, so since we like keys and little uh, lens caps and stuff in here it's very useful as well as like i always take um like sticky post-it notes best thing ever if you're uh going to filming or directing whatever uh, these are just normal post-it notes but i keep them in the front of my bag at all times um obviously not today because i went to go get them i'm a mess but inside it also has this it also has a second pocket that's actually removable and this is probably one of the reasons why i bought this bag really well padded so the bag it gets like a 10 out of 10 rated for me. I couldn't ask for anything more. I can't actually think of anything more I want in the camera bag for my level. So, um, very good. Um, maybe if I was going to go for a next bag, I'd probably go for a bigger one. But for what I want it for, this is perfect. Also, it has a really cool little slot here for SD cards. Oh, actually, I have, oh, I have a lens filter in So, actually, I'm going to put that lens filter on. Forgot about that. There we go, much better. So the next thing on my list is probably this aperture light. So, I know a few people who have this light. Very small, but... God, is it powerful. So this little baby charges with USB micro. Incredible. Look how powerful that is. Right, actually, let me turn off these lights. So this is me. One light. One light, and I'm basically, what, lit already? So not only this is good for, like, filmmaking use, but everyday use. Slip it in your bag if you're ever going camping. And bosh, you have some really good um, scary stories. <laughs> but, oh, crap. But also it comes with a... Why am I dropping stuff? Comes with, it also comes with a cold shoe mount on the bottom. And also in this set, I also got some gels for it. It'd be nice if I could find them. Oh, here they are. So I have loads of different gels so I can make it all different colours. Actually, I'm going to do it now. Just gives the scene a bit more definition. I'm not sure if you can see that. I did pick, for some reason, salmon. I just dropped all my filters all over the place. So, uh, moving on. The next thing in my camera bag. Uh, some lenses. So this is my uh, 70. Yes, this is. So this is my 75 to... 300. It's a beefy boy. It is huge. I use an adapter to put it onto my M50. Online, it's going for a pretty good price. This is currently going for like around £60 online. Uh, I bought the second hand off my friend Craig. I've used it like quite a few times. It's very good if you're going like into nature photography. I mean, I always put it in my camera bag just in case. So, very useful uh, to have a wide range of lenses. So that moves on to my other lens. This also has the adapter on the bottom. This is a Fix 50. It's a prime lens. If you saw my short film natural selection i basically film most of it on this this thing is an absolute beast uh, especially for the price i bought it for uh, 85 pounds with a lens hood as well it's also 1.8 aperture 1.8 that is incredible so at night it shoots perfectly i haven't really had many problems with it it's quite hard to clean actually that's one of the problems with it so probably my most recent purchase is a monitor so monitors obviously are really important when you're using a 4k camera like the m50 it's very important to know what's in focus so what's not in focus that was a problem i did have with natural selection a monitor is incredible so this is a Feel World uh, 5 inch or 5.5. Oh, you know, it's just a 5 inch monitor. Um, it's not the biggest, but it plugs straight into the camera. So I'm not using it now because I'd have to set up my whole rig and I really can't be asked. Why do I always get messages when I'm filming? It's very good. It also shows me what's in frame, what's not in frame, what a monitor should do. No, when it has like, it has bars and stuff and a grid system. If you're making films and you want to make films, i definitely say it's quite a good investment. Right, say so let's pack this away. Um... Gorilla Pod. This is my new favourite thing, my new favourite toy. I was using it at the beginning of the video. I've been using it in most of the rope shows. This Gorilla Pod is incredible. Uh, I went for the 7 inch one. I can position it, put it on anything. Ow, this is very painful. Uh, God, so I can put on basically anything. Yeah, maybe not put it on your head. This really does give me a headache. But it's brilliant for vlogging because I can just do this and then if I want to put it on the table, just ba da ba da da. So weird. So, Next on my list, this is very new. This is my Christmas present for this year. I was a very lucky boy and I got a Mavic Mini. I've been wanting to get a drone for absolutely ages and I really like the company DJI. Uh, I got the Mavic Mini and I got the uh, Fly More bundle, if you're wondering uh, where this case is from. So each battery is around a half an hour flight time and uh, you also get this group charger as well with the Fly More bundle. I do warn you, they take years to charge. With this charging case, they will charge at the same time and you're all sorted by the morning. But this drone is tiny. 
Um, I love it. I've flown with it a few times. If you're following my Instagram, you probably would have seen some of the clips. That is the Mavic Mini, and it is beautiful <laughs> and small. Thank you for watching today. Uh, it's been a pleasure. I absolutely love making these vlogs. If you're new around here, make sure you subscribe uh, down below, and also make sure you check out my other videos, as well as I've been banging on about quite a bit. Make sure you follow my Instagram down below. That's down there as long as my other socials and other uh, email stuff for business inquiries. Thank you for watching The Rope Show, and I'll see you in the next one next week. And goodbye. Sitting down in a video, it's the first time. If you're wondering how I did that tea bit at the beginning of the video, this is this is why he's the bad man. I was <laughs> I was raised in the darkness. <laughs>